<laughs> welcome Woo! to Game Over. If you're just joining us from the from the pre-show broadcast, welcome back to Thanks Game for Over. Being here. I'm Charles J. Orlando. I'm Lisa Stedman. And we're the relationship show that's broadcast live daily around the world to over 650,000 people worldwide, where we ask a lot of different questions. Everything from relationships to breakups to Different types of interpersonal relations, like, uh, would you rather watch a porno with your parents or starring your parents? <laughs> wow. That was, that was a question for yesterday, right? I like, asked him to surprise me with the uh, show, but I never expected he'd bring up my parents' eesh, and porn. You're I, right? I, yeah. Like, I don't know, need a wet nab. I need, like, a lobby. A shower. <laughs> like, green... <laughs> Bleach. Rain bleach. Reboot. It's just that, yeah, that's that's not Welcome happening. to today's show, you guys. <laughs> and today we have something very interesting. This week, if you've been following us, it's been mm -hmm. it's been an awesome first week for us. So Thank you're you watching... for tuning in. You, yeah. Those of you who started with us at the beginning this week, we appreciate your support. The early adopters are the ones who are brave and bold and make us feel like we're not crazy. So. Right. Well, and we've been reading your comments. Like, you yeah. love the set. You love the furry pillows. You duh. want something on the wall behind and us. And we, we want something you. on the wall, too. Send your suggestions to Game Over. TV show at gmail.com. Hey, I also want to ask all the stylists out there, what's the best wardrobe tape so bra straps don't show? So email that too to gameovertvshow at gmail.com. And we'll send you a free t-shirt just for participating. So bring it on. Wow, we're nice. Duh. <laughs> so today's show is a little bit different, mm -hmm. um, which means it's exactly the same as the others we've been doing. Yeah, I was so, thinking, uh, <laughs> we're still here, you're still here, I'm still here, the set's still here, you're still no, here. No, we're getting into your specialty today. We're talking about breakups today, and now I'm not hawking my book. I'm giving a book away today, and here's why. The holidays are right around the corner, right? And I hear from so many people all over the world about when do I break up? When's an optimal time to break up? I know the relationship is on its way out. I know he's not the one or she's not the one, and I'm scared to end it. Do I stick around during the holidays? Do I cut bait now? Do I have to wait to Valentine's Day? I really don't want to be alone on New Year's Eve, so mm -hmm. isn't it better to be with the wrong person? And the answer is, no, it's not better to be with the wrong person. And so we're going to dish into breakups today. And I'm right. going to give away one signed copy of my first book, It's a Breakup, Not a Breakdown. Email, first person to email. What's our email address? GameOverTVShow <laughs> at gmail.com. First person to email there and tell us why you want to keep your breakup from becoming a breakdown this holiday season will win the free book, and I'm excited to send you that book. Absolutely. And I'm on. I'm active on the social stream and on the chat, so join us here on the chat, nice. and we'll be here. So Yay! Welcome! So let's talk about... Let's talk about it. Let's, and then we've got advice for guys. Mm -hmm. Charles got a tip for guys. And then the second half of the show, we've got your questions. We're going to answer them. Right. So stick around for that. All right. So what is the date today? Like November what? Today is November 9th. November 9th. Thinking about breakups. With somebody. It's not quite working out. You've tried a lot of things. It's really not working out. Right. You're starting to think about other people. You're starting to think your life would be simpler. And you think, well, I did already book that ticket to Thanksgiving with his parents. Mm. Are you thinking all this at the same time? Well, all these thoughts go through your head at probably around 3 a.m., frankly, you know. Ooh. You're yeah. awake, maybe you're lying beside them. It can be really ugly, right? Because you're like, when is a good time to break up? There is no optimum time to break up. Right. However, on Christmas morning, not a great time. On New Year's Eve, not a great time. If you know that the relationship is doomed, I highly recommend having the difficult conversation now rather than waiting till January. Like, January is actually the most popular month that people get divorced or file for divorce anyway. Right, right after the again. holidays, but before Valentine's, before Valentine's Day. Day. It's like, I got through that, I can't go through it again. And I get that. And, and I actually talk about breakup blackout dates. I think pretty much between now, I was talking to the Hubs about this last night. Hi, Hubs. Um, I was talking to him and he said, so when should people break up before the holidays? And I said, probably last week. <laughs> Right, well, because now you're in the in the doldrums right before Yes, and, breakups, and you right. may have made your travel plans already. But the truth is, if the relationship isn't working, what are you sticking around for? Well, sure, but there's no real time limit, right? Like, what if you end up in the fight now, and you have no choice? I mean, do you really stick it out for the holidays well, just to mull through? I would hope not if you end up in the fight now. Yeah, I mean, if the straw breaks the camel's back today, like... Yeah, you know. and you can cancel a lot of those plans if you've already made plans. But like, so let's talk about signs you need to you need to break up. Okay, you've tried everything. You've really worked on the relationship. You've really communicated about what's not working, and one or both of you is still not 
manning or womaning up. <laughs> I just made that up. Cowboy or cowgirl up. Let's say that. Um, it's still not working. Your communication is off. Your sex life isn't working. You don't meet each other's needs. And you've really tried to make it work. I'm not pro-breakup, but I'm pro-breaking up with the wrong relationship. Right. Right. And so I, I hear all of that. But what about second chances, right? I mean, you know, there's, there's mistakes that are made in a relationship. And we're not... I, I get it. Like, you're in an abusive relationship and you just call that game shit over. done. Game Completely over. Completely game over. Um, but there are some times where, where mistakes are made, people learn over time, they're sure. experiential learners. Sure. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. But I'm saying if you've done all that and it's still not working, mm -hmm. or you're asking for something that the other person just can't possibly meet, or you don't have the same core, like, common values or, or similar life plans. Right. Like, if you don't want the same thing, that's going to make for a really rocky road for the next however many months or years you're together. So I'm really talking about if you've done everything, you've done the homework, your gut is saying get out, and you're thinking about delaying it. Right, right. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. Well, and I, and I definitely hear all of that. I think the challenge that a lot of people experience with their breakups is that they end up feeling really bad, right? They, they want to That's caretake the other, the other person, person, yeah. person through the, through the yeah. breakup, and they want to they make them feel better and have them see the signs of how this all fell apart. And some people just don't necessarily feel that way. They feel good about where things are at, or they're afraid of what it means to either be alone. Uh, yes. Yeah. So there's a couple of things here. One is nobody wants to have that difficult conversation because you do care about the other person and you don't want to hurt their feelings, but the, there is no right time to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. So it's about being fair in that conversation. Right. And firm, not waffling when they start to cry or when they say, please take me back. It's not a sign you're supposed to, you're supposed to take them back. It's just how they're feeling. So honor that, but keep moving on. And then you said something else and it's totally escaped me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's live TV, right? So um, my other question is, I have an opinion about this for sure, but let me get your take. So staying together for you the kids. You have an opinion? Shocking. I, right. <laughs> staying together for the kids. Game over. Game over. Yeah. No matter what. Well, the kids are going to pick up on all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you think that you're doing the best thing for your kids, your kids are watching you every day being miserable, maybe being mean, being unfair, right. um, falling out of love with the other person. That's something they're experiencing anyway. Totally. Kids are really intuitive. Yeah, so you're when not it, saving them anything. When it comes to kids, I totally agree. I mean, it's absolutely game over. A marriage is between the two adults, right? Mm -hmm. They're not between the two kids. And the analogy I can give you is... When you're on an airplane and they tell you, if we crash, you got to put the mask on yourself first before you can put it on your kids. And getting out of a marriage like this with a breakup is the same. Same. It's, it's absolutely the same. same. Thing. And here's, here's what's really important. If you're really worried about the kids, make sure that in the breakup, the divorce, whatever it is, that you're showing your kids how to move through that well. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're being fair in that process. Don't take all that S shit. I'm going to say it. Don't take your shit out. On your ex with your kids. Don't no, put your kids absolutely. in the middle. The best thing you can do in this scenario, if you are breaking up and you do have kids, is to show your kids how to get through it with grace and dignity. Cry in the bathroom when they're asleep. Cry in the car when you've dropped them off. Like, do your thing. Be a mess. Right. But really show them how to move through this in the most compassionate, kind, respectful way. And by the way, this is much easier said than done, right? Yes, I mean, and I get that. Yeah, totally. I mean, it, the... The, to be able to transition out of a long-term relationship with children or to be able to break up at any point if you've been together for some time is not very easy. Even after a week, breakups are hard, right? They can be, sure, <laughs> they right? They can be. I remember those. Well, <laughs> yeah, I met him on Match.com and he went out with me three times and I slept with him on date one. Why did he break up with me? Game oh, over. Damn it, that's game over. But, you know, I remember, like, you know, junior high, high school relationships, you, you dated for, like, a week, a month, and then they ditched you, and it's like you think, what's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. And relationships don't always work out. That's the process of life, right? If you, if you get married in your first relationship, either that was an arranged marriage or I would imagine that's not going to, well, I'm, I'm just going to say if I had married <laughs> anyone I'd ever dated before I met the hubs, I'd be divorced or in jail for killing them. And I know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I'm really honest about that. <laughs> well, and that's section one. If you see me glancing down here, it's because we're live on the social stream. And if you have a comment or a question, uh, including The Invisible Boss, and I think you can find them at theinvisibleboss.com. Uh, Sarah Kennedy Klein! Right? Woo! Everybody's got perfect things to put behind the couch. Right on. Email it over, and <laughs> we'll definitely take a look at that. And if you have a comment through the show, talk to me. Um, talk to us, really. I mean, I'm here, too. <laughs> well, right. We love you, so. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I promise this a little credit. 
thing. Today's right. show and today's guy tip, because there Ooh. are a lot of men who and are watching the show. And we love men. Right. Like, kudos to the this men is... who want to improve their yeah. relationships and find out how to, like, really get love right. Yeah, absolutely. Chicks, well, and you're in the right place. I mean, you know, we, we definitely have the pulse of what's happening in relationships to a large degree. And we talked to tens of thousands it's of people. Pulse and large. So... That was yesterday's show. You know, moving on. Today's show and today's guy tip is brought to you by the relationship site Your Tango. Check them out at yourtango.com. Awesome articles, incredible tips and advice. Great videos, too. Absolutely. So no matter what stage you're in, Your Tango has a great space for you to check out tips, advice, resources, videos, and help you get the woohoo that you need to move on. And you can find them on Facebook at, at facebook.com slash yourtango. But here's my guy tip. Ooh. So many guys tend to like put the onus on the woman when it comes to planning dates. And that's just not the way it runs. It's an equal, it's an equal friends. world. It's an equal world, okay, where I'm all about gender equality and I'm all about when it when it comes to when it comes to relationships, being equal in the relationship, yeah. right? But there's something to be said for primal instincts and courtship. I Do like your that. job, man. Do your job. Stop talking about Dutch and all that bullshit. Just pay the bill, okay? Just pay the you bill. Know, that's a ask whole her other out. Show. Well, we gotta talk about the Dutch thing. Well, not Monday. Monday we're gonna be talking about not repeat Monday. offenders and how. Tuesday we're talking about going Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Monday we're talking about repeat offenders and how people keep falling in love with the same person over and over and over again. How you keep attracting the wrong person. But today. Even if they look dramatically different. <laughs> They're the same person. <laughs> They're the same person. That's Monday. But right now, we've got your live advice. We do. I love this segment because you guys ask us such great questions. Thank you, every. Oh, I'm just looking at this camera now because we're off broadcast for friends. <laughs> but thank you, everyone who shares. And I can tell we've got a lot of our UK listeners and yeah. viewers watching mm -hmm. um, and submitting. So our first question is from Rebecca, who says, my boyfriend, thank you, Rebecca, by the way, hi. Uh, my boyfriend of three years, we recently broke up. I caught him calling other chicks babe. Now, that could be, you know, who knows what that means, um, if that's legitimate or not. But also, this, I say game over, plotting with his mom, that's how I know you from the UK, um, to take my son from me. So I'm calling game over all over that. But this is what's interesting, because even though they broke it up, she's still kind of wondering... He denies that he's seeing other women, but he never lets me near his phone, and now he's blocked me on Facebook. Hello. I want to know, why would he hide his shit if he's got nothing to hide? Game over. That's really, Rebecca, it's game over on a lot of fronts. Yeah, like anybody who's plotting against you, you're in dead in the water. Way, yeah, but like, especially around your kids. Well, yeah, what the hell? Really? Oh, Rebecca. Even if you have the inkling that that kind of thing is happening, right? No, you know? So if he thinks you're... A bad parent for some reason. Okay, maybe we can talk about that. But it this is even, just I, I can't even tell if he's the baby daddy, so I'm a little confused about that. But blocking you on Facebook, that's a pretty good sign that he's game like he's saying game over. Right. Yeah. Once once that's I mean, the reason there have been so many studies done about about game about Facebook blocking and how that has a huge detrimental impact on someone's psyche. Oh absolutely. Because it's a it's not just like I don't want to talk to you anymore and I stopped calling you. What it is, is a it's, public proclamation of... Fuck you. Yes. Sorry. Oh, I dropped an F-bomb today. Sorry, so Tara, I bet you're really happy right now. <laughs> Tara, if I stroked the, the fuzzy pillow while I said it, would that make it even better? <laughs> we are PG-13. You could say the F-word once per PG-13 movie. Can we oh, move we'll on, see please? Um, oh, yeah, yes. my God. Okay, so Stacy, I believe this is another one of our UK friends, um, been seeing a fella... For a few months, everything was going great until last week, all contact stopped. Mm. I've texted to ask if I did something wrong, if there's a reason he won't return my calls or texts. Now, Charles, is this his way of telling her, and she actually asked us to F off right. and leave him alone? She wants, she feels like she deserves an explanation, and I so get that. Well, there's so many people who want an explanation or closure for and this kind of interaction. Get it. But you're never going to get it, and that's so the hook. Frustrating. You've been daily, only dating for a few months, and, and I hear this a lot of times, and they met online. And okay. I hear that with a lot of online daters where you're, you're interacting with them and they're totally into you and then they vaporize. And why do they, why do they vaporize? Well, you may never know because people reveal themselves slowly over time. There's like, yeah. you cannot shortchange the, the getting to know you process. 
So if they are if they are just disappearing from you, they were never there in the first place, and they're doing you a massive oh, okay. favor. You know, like better to find out within the first couple of months that this no, person kidding. is a complete wackadoo that's gone, rather than going in a year and a half. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, totally. So, and unfortunately, it does. It is a sure sign that he's saying game over. But I think the the key here for women is when we don't get the answer we want, or we don't get an answer. Period. It's not a sign to stay connected. Right. Right. Sometimes we just gotta suck it up and be like, I got no closure on that, and I'm still moving on. Right. And, and it's not a sign that I suck. It's not a sign you suck. Well, that was the other thing I was gonna say. Is it's yeah. not a reflection on you. These no. people are making decisions, right? And when they make those decisions and those choices, it's not necessarily because of who you are. It's because of who they are, they are. or who they are not. More importantly, who they are not. I love that. <laughs> Moving on. Jessica says, and I, again, I'm loving all the UK that ladies. I've been seeing this lad for about a month now. Nothing official. I asked him what he wants from me, and he said eventually a relationship. And I'm so curious to get your point of view. But right now, he doesn't want to be tied down because of baggage from a past relationship. And yet he's introducing her to all his friends and family as his girl. And he gets really jealous when he's, she talks to other guys. So Charles, talk to me about this kind of guy. Right. Well, he's been up front with her, right? He has, but there's mixed messages. Well, there are mixed messages. And that's because he can't come to grips with whatever's in his own head. So he's been straight with her. Kind of grips. I, I had another visual. <laughs> well, he's been he's been, he's been really straight up with her, right? Another one. He's, he's been really straight up with her in that yeah. here's the expectations. But he clearly has different feelings. So so why can't he man up? And, and I'm talking more in general. I'm speaking for Jessica and on behalf of all women who've been in this situation where they right. say, I don't want a relationship, and yet they really cock-block you from any other relationship. We emotionally hang on because it feels good that he's a little jealous. I've so been here, and it's infuriating. Well, it's only been a month. So okay. in this kind of okay. relationship, I can see it. He's feeling things out. Okay. He's from a prior relationship, and he's not going to... He's not going to start to putting 100% in when it's only been four or five weeks. I so understand I get that. that. I get but that. But this goes to three months, six months. A year. A year. It's it's a whole different conversation, right? A year. So, he's still not saying I love you. He's still not committing. Game over. Yeah, totally. But here, I think it's still game on, I guess. I think so. Okay. Absolutely. I think, I think it is game on. I think she needs to... Let him work himself out because at the end of it, she doesn't want half a guy, right? If he right. has, he's been honest. And right. If, he's, if he only has a certain amount available for her and he's still working through whatever was in his past, mm -hmm. kudos to him for being straight up with you, right? Yes, and if he's if that baggage car is like a freaking caboose, maybe he shouldn't even be in the relationship. Period. Like pack a light backpack, people. <laughs> Don't be carrying around trunks and trolleys and. Oh my God! Get get that shit into a backpack. Come well, on. right. Work it out. I, Work I it totally out. agree. I totally agree. But I, Jessica, I think there's still hope for you, and please keep us posted. Yeah, it's only been a month. Like, let him work himself through. And by the way, you can't solve any of those problems for him. It doesn't matter yeah. how much he loves you, how much you love him, how much you put in. Let him work his own shit out, and from there. You'll see if you have a chance. Which again, ladies, so infuriating to hear that advice and so true. <laughs> but it's real. It's, it's real. real. If you have a question, please visit my Facebook page, which we're sharing for the show. Share. Facebook.com slash the problem is men. Click the message button. Submit your question. We'll feature you on the show here. Or you can send an email to Game Over Show. Game Over TV Show. I did it again. I know. We have trouble with our email. Yes. We're working on it. Game Over TV Show at gmail.com. And please, I want to give away a book today since we talked about breakups. So the first person, if you haven't already, we haven't been checking our email, um, email that same email address and tell us why you need a book to help you keep what, your breakup from becoming a breakdown. Game over show. At Game over TV show <laughs> at gmail.com. And thank you, Rebecca, Stacey, and Jessica for your, your questions. And keep us posted on how it goes. We want to know how you're doing. So this weekend, we're off the air. We are a Monday through Friday show every day at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And all the other uh, time zones are listed at thegameovershow.com. Yeah. We broadcast around the world. So thank you all for being here. Absolutely. Email in your questions. Uh, Monday is Veterans Day uh, in the U.S., but we are broadcasting live. We salute our veterans by being live and in person. Absolutely. And we'll be talking about those repeat offender relationships, finding the same person over in and over and there. over and over and over again. You in don't there. have to do it that way, and we're going to tell you why. Until then, this has been Game Over. I'm Charles J. Orlando. I'm Charles J. Orlando. And I'm going to be Lisa Stedman then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.